Here's a super fun story. I got a six figure art commission from Facebook. Funny enough, I hardly even use Facebook for personal reasons, but somehow the stars aligned and I got an incredible opportunity. I'm gonna tell you all about the story today on The Josie Show. Welcome to The Josie Show, where it's artist to artist chat about making art and making money. I think artists should get paid, and I'm here to help you with that. I wrote Pricing Your Art Made Easy just for that purpose. It's a handy guide that will give you some practical tips for pricing your art, which can be kind of tricky, but I demystify it for you. Download it for free at josielewis.com slash pricing. Okay, so here's the story of how I got a six-figure art commission. I was scrolling on Facebook one day and I saw a RFP, that's Request for Proposal. A company wanted a mosaic artist for a large public project. Now, I've done mosaic here and there, but I would not call myself uh, an official mosaic artist, but I applied. I did not meet a couple of the requirements in the brief, but I'm of a mind that you lose 100% of the shots you don't take. So I put together a proposal and a resume and I sent it on in. And lo and behold, they called me and said, you're in. The project was for two 200 square foot mosaics at the Minneapolis St. Paul Airport. MSP has some really cool beautification programs underway and they spend a lot of money and effort making their facilities amazing. They have hired more than 25 mosaic artists to make mosaics for their airport interior. Because I wasn't a mosaic expert, I pretty much spent a full year learning how to mosaic. I watched about a thousand YouTube videos, consulted with mosaic experts, and did many, many test projects. I had a few designs that I submitted to the airport committee, and my first design, which was a cool map concept, was rejected. I mean, why would anyone care about maps at an airport, right? I would still like to do that map project sometime. So if some other airport wants to hire me for it, I am ready. After the map concept was rejected, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do next and I was a little bit crushed. But at the time I had been raising monarch butterflies. So I had butterflies on the brain. I researched the moths and butterflies that I could find that sometimes visit Minnesota and put 18 of them in a grid pattern in the two mosaics. The two mosaics are about 200 square feet each and I built them in my home studio. We had a very complex method that involved doing small sections at a time and then basically taping everything together and storing them. It was crazy. We got pretty close to the deadline at the end. It was tight and I instructed the team that we had a strict completion policy of a half a butterfly a day or we wouldn't meet the deadline. When the mosaics had all been assembled, we brought the pieces to the airport and the team and I assembled them. I hired professional mosaic installers because tile work is hard and my project was big. Between me and my team, we spent about 1500 labor hours to assemble and install the project and over 200,000 glass tiles that are about a half inch square. If you're traveling through Minneapolis, you can see them near gate F4. Take a picture and tag me in it when you get a chance to see it. Let me know in the comments if you have seen it in real life or seen it on social media. I'm super curious. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Josie show.